Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to send SMS from your PHP application using Twilio API. If you've never heard about Twilio, you could actually navigate to the website twilio.com and do a quick read up. This is uh, basically a communications API that you can use to build so many services like you want to send uh, messages from your application. If we scroll down here, you can see a lot of stuff that you can build using the Trilo API. So from uh, SMS support chatbot, SMS notification, phone verification, and lots more. So there are a lot of stuff that you can actually do using this API. But in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use this API in our PHP application to send SMS to any phone number that we choose. That means that you can potentially have a PHP website and based on user action, you can trigger a specific SMS to a user. And you can also use this to enforce some kind of verification on your website. It's pretty uh, simple. The first thing we need to do is to uh, sign up for a Twilio account. So I already have an account, but this is basically the process. You have to fill out this form and then start a trial. It's going to be basically free for you to use in the uh, trial period. You don't need a credit card or anything to use Trilo in the trial period. So I'm going to log into my account. All right, so once you've registered and verified your email and your phone number, then you would be uh, redirected to this dashboard. So once you're on this dashboard, then we could get out of Twilio for now and go to our PHP application and set up things. And we'll come back here later to grab some information. So I have a blank PHP project here. Uh, basically, if you view this on the browser, it's just this place, this test, send SMS with Twilio API, which is what I have in the index.php file here. So I'm going to create a new folder here uh, called this SRC and I am going to uh, basically be using Composer to require the Twilio uh, SDK. So I'm going to be installing this using the command line tool. I'm using Docker so I want to be inside of my container. To do that, I would say docker exec with my container ID and I want the bash shell. So this is right now inside of my project directory and I'm going to run composer require Trilo slash SDK. Okay, so if we want to install a specific version, you could put a sharp sign here and type the version number. But I'm just going to require the most recent SDK. Okay, so it's going to download that into my uh, project root directory. And once that is done, we can uh, begin uh, coding the application. Okay, so the installation is complete. We'll go back to uh, project folder and here you see we have two new files, composer.json and composer.log. If you are not familiar with composer, I would link up a video here to my uh, composer uh, videos on YouTube where you can learn how to install composer. So I basically want to set up one more thing here which is called uh, autoload. So what this means is uh, setting up our Composer should look for uh, PHP classes within our application. So I want to use PSR for auto loading standard. And uh, basically I'm going to tell it where to look for my project files. So I'm going to have a namespace, which is the app. And in this namespace, I want it to look for, I want it to basically look for SROC folder, which is the one that I just created a while ago. Okay, so I'm saying for any of my classes that have the namespace app, look for them inside of this folder, SROC. 
the next thing that I want to do now is to uh, basically create a wrapper class that I'll be using to send SMS from my application. So inside of the SROC folder, I want a new class. Let's just call this SMS sender. And the namespace should be up. So remember what we did in Composer 5, we say is if the namespace of our class is up, look for them inside of the SROC folder. It doesn't matter whether we have nested uh, folders inside of SROC, Composer will be able to auto load those PHP classes. All right, so what we want to do here is to have a constructor. So I'm going to have my constructor method here. And basically I want to pass into this constructor, the uh, Twilio client class. So the first thing I want to do here is to have a use statement. So I'm going to say use Twilio. We want uh, rest and then we want uh, client from the rest folder. All right, and I want to inject client into this class and then just call it client. And basically just do all the initialization that you do for your PHP application. So I can do this using my ID. So it does all this for me. And I'm using PHP 7.4, so I can actually specify the type of this variable here. If you're using an older version of PHP, like PHP 7.3, 5.6, so you would have to uh, basically remove this from here. So you have to just define your variable like this. All right, we're only going to have one method inside of uh, this class. So it's going to be a public method. And uh, basically, I'm just going to call invoke. So this is uh, basically a PHP magic method that we can call on a class so that when we instantiate the class, we can directly pass it some argument and it will automatically run the code inside of this function. So I want to take two parameters here. One would be the tool number. So this is the number we want to send the SMS to. And the second one will be an array, and I will call this payload. And this method is just going to return void. So we don't want to return anything from here right now. And the only thing we want to do now is to say this client, which is the Trilo client, uh, messages, and then create. So this method basically takes the phone number that you want to send the SMS to, and takes a payload. So we discuss a bit about the payload uh, briefly. So for now, we just have this class here, okay? And we have set up things so that we can create an instance of this class and pass it the Twilio client and immediately invoke it using the number that we want to send the SMS to and a payload. So payload will basically contain the phone number that you're sending from and also the contents that you want to send. And also like so many other things, if uh, you can see here that the definition says the tool number and array of options. So if you go to uh, this method, you can see that there are lots of options that can be specified here, the body, the media URL, and uh, status callback, application SID. So there are lots of options that we could specify here, but right now we only consign about the body. All right, so we have things set up here. I want to go now to my index file. And the first thing I want to do here is to uh, require Composer autoload. So let's say require once and then a directory. And I want to go to vendor and autoload.php. So this is uh, basically what we need to do to enable Composer to autoload files so it will be able to autoload our PHP classes once we require this. Uh, we may want to also just dump the autoload so that it knows exactly what autoloading format we're using. So we could say dump autoload. So I think we didn't do that when, when we registered, um, when we added a new feed to Composer.json, which is the uh, autoload. Uh, feed that we added. So I'm basically talking about this one. Okay, so now it should know where to uh, look for our classes. So come back to index.php. 
So we basically need a few things here to send SMS. We need SID, which we are going to get from the Twilio website. I'll show you how to grab that. We need a token, which we're also going to get from Twilio website. And then we need to specify our Twilio number. So we need also to have a number registered on Twilio that we can use for sending uh, SMS from our application. So I already have all of this uh, information, but I'm going to show you how to get them from Twilio website. So let's navigate back again to Twilio. And right here, once you have done all your verification, you'll be brought to this dashboard. And here you can see your project info. Uh, basically, these are my project info. I'm going to be uh, basically getting rid of this immediately after this video. So don't use my uh, details that you see right here. So you need to request for a phone number. You would see a button here if you don't have that says request for trial uh, phone number. So click on that button and then go through the flow. It's free. You would not be asked to pay anything as long as you're still using trial and uh, grab that phone number and copy it into the project. So I'm going to put mine here. And the next thing you need is the account SID. So copy that and also bring it back into the project. And then for the token, you're going to click on show and then also copy that. Then paste it inside of the project. So we basically have all of the things that we need to be able to communicate with the Twilio API using their SDK. So what we want to do is to create the Twilio client. So we're going to say Twilio client should be equal to new client okay so ensure that you are importing this so this is a twilio rest client so i'm going to replace this with an import so make sure that you have line 3 in your php file you can also just move this up to make things yeah it doesn't matter if you leave it below but yeah i like to arrange stuff like this and the client basically needs the SID and the token. So we're going to pass in the SID and we're going to pass in the token. Okay, so we have those two things here. We're going to now create an instance of our sender. So remember, we have the SMS sender that we just created. So we want to create a new instance of that. So let's call that SMS sender. And this basically takes a Twilio client. And again, I'm just, again, I'm going to import this. So I like to always import my classes. So make sure you have this line here, use up SMS sender, and then we pass it the Twilio client. And next we want to specify the phone number that we want to send to. So I'm going to say my tool phone number, and I'm going to basically type my phone number in there so you type in your phone number there or the phone number that you want to send to and in most cases you'll probably be reading this from a database or from a get parameter in your application so whatever that is so just type in your phone your tool uh, phone number there and uh, something worth noting is when you are using trial i think you can only send to the phone number that was verified so I'm going to uh, specify here the payload. So remember inside of um, SMS sender right here, we have a uh, tool phone number and we have payload. I told you that payload contains things like where is the SMS sending coming from and also the body and few other parameters that I showed you how to get. So first one here is from and uh, basically that's going to be our Twilio number. And then we have the body. And that's going to be any test that we want here. So I'm just going to copy some random test and put here. So like, thank you for 
Uh, thank you for uh, registering. This is your unique code, and I just generate some random code using PHP unique ID function. So this could be anything. I'm just using that as a, a way to show you that we could pass in more data. So the last thing that we need to do here is to just say sender. And remember, I told you because we're using the invoke function, so we can just pass in the uh, data right here. So I could say to, which is the number that I want to send to, and payload. And voila, that's all we need to basically do right here. So I could change this to SMS sent successfully. Okay. And then uh, we could go back again to the browser. If everything works as expected, we should be able to receive the SMS in the tool phone number. All right, so I'm going to navigate to the browser and just reload here. And it says, uh, page is it working? There is a 500 error here. So what I can do is uh, basically go through the container and just see what's uh, basically going on. All right, so here we have the logs of our PHP application. And uh, basically, I'm going to try to see what went wrong, that we're getting a 500 exception. So basically, it's not able to open the uh, vendor of autoload file. So what we want to do is see, so there should be a slash here. And then let's uh, try again to reload that. So basically this has to be body, so B-O-D-Y, and also uh, vendor autoload needs to be the um, there has to be a slash at the beginning here. So there was two errors in my script and I'm going to uh, go again to the browser and just do a reload. Everything should work fine now. SMS sent successfully. And right here, you can see the SMS that was sent in my phone. So I had to take a screenshot of the SMS and just put it at the end of the video here. So there are lots of stuff that you could uh, do with the uh, Twilio uh, Cloud Communications API. You can exploit these and um, subsequently, and subsequently, I would be also making some videos about how to uh, reply like SMS and uh, do lots of cool stuff with Trilio API. So if you like this video, please subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload new videos. Thank you for viewing. Have a nice day.